Oliver and the Sea Monster. Once upon a time, in a small coastal village, there lived a little boy named Oliver. His father, a brave sailor, had set sail on a grand voyage, but had not returned for months. The villagers whispered of a mysterious island where ships disappeared, and Oliver was determined to find his father. With a heart full of courage and a small boat, Oliver set out on his journey across the vast ocean. The sea was calm at first, the waves gently rocking his boat as he sailed into the unknown. The sun painted the sky in warm hues, and hope flickered in Oliver's eyes. As the day unfolded, the sky transformed into a canvas of oranges and pinks. The air was filled with a sense of adventure, but soon the wind began to howl and the waves grew more restless. The weather turned tumultuous, signalling the arrival of a formidable storm. Undeterred, Oliver clung to the sides of his boat, steering through the furious waves. Lightning danced across the sky, and thunder roared like an angry giant. In the midst of the chaos, a colossal shadow emerged from the depths below. A sea monster with eyes that glowed like phosphorescent orbs. Oliver's heart pounded in his chest as he stared at the creature that rose from the churning sea. The monster's scales shimmered with an otherworldly glow, and its massive tentacles reached towards the surface, eager to claim its next victim. Fear gripped Oliver's soul, but he knew he had to escape. With swift reflexes, he manoeuvred his small boat, dodging the monster's thrashing tentacles. The sea monster, enraged by the evasion, let out a deafening roar that echoed through the stormy night. Oliver's tiny boat danced on the treacherous waves, narrowly escaping the clutches of the monstrous creature. As the storm subsided, the sea monster retreated into the depths, leaving Oliver shaken but alive. He marvelled at the miraculous survival and continued his journey with newfound determination. Guided by the North Star, he sailed through the night, the rhythmic sound of the waves offering a lullaby of reassurance. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but Oliver pressed on. Finally, on the distant horizon, he spotted the silhouette of an island, the very island where his father was rumoured to be stranded. Excitement coursed through his veins as he navigated towards the shore. Upon reaching the island, Oliver was met with a sight that filled him with relief and joy. There, on the sandy beach stood his father, frail and tired, but alive. The reunion was tearful and filled with stories of survival. His father had been marooned on the island after a fierce storm had wrecked their ship. However, their joy was short-lived as Oliver's father explained that they needed help to leave the island. The damaged ship lay stranded on the other side, and repairing it required more hands than just theirs. Determined to rescue his father, Oliver set out to seek assistance from the nearby villages. Days turned into weeks once again, as Oliver worked tirelessly, seeking help and gathering resources. He encountered friendly islanders who shared their wisdom and offered a helping hand. Together, they repaired the ship and prepared to sail back home. As the ship set sail towards the horizon, Oliver couldn't help but reflect on his incredible journey. From facing a sea monster to rescuing his father, he had proven that courage could overcome even the most daunting challenges. The island, once a place of mystery and danger, became a symbol of resilience and hope. As the ship sailed into the sunset, Oliver stood at the helm, a brave young captain leading his crew home. The sea monster, a distant memory, faded into the depths, and the island became a silhouette against the fading light. The journey had transformed Oliver into a hero, and the bond between father and son had weathered the storms, emerging stronger than ever. Mm -hmm.